Grambling, Southern, and Jackson State are all battling over this four-star out of New Orleans. We're going to talk about them right after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? What is up, everybody? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here at the Black Boss Channel with Victor Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, three SWAC schools are battling over a four-star out of New Orleans. That is right. Three SWAC schools have offered and trying to get and land a four-star out of New Orleans. The young man's name is Ryan Robert Robinson. Ryan Robertson, the latest school to offer him is the Jackson State Tigers. Let's take a look at Mr. Robinson's Twitter account. He says, blessed beyond, uh, beyond blessed to receive an HBCU offer from a Jackson State University. I obviously got the coach primed, I believe, and he is coming out of Edna Carr High School in New Orleans. But Jackson State isn't the only swag school to be on Mr. Robinson's uh, uh, radar. Mr. Robinson was first offered, let me go ahead and share that with you, By from his hometown, school in his hometown, well, in Baton Rouge, down there in Louisiana, beyond blessed to receive my first HBCU offer. This came back in January from Southern University, back on January 19th, Mr. Robinson, who was a rising senior class of 2023 out of Edna Carr, New Orleans, got in his, his first HBCU offer from a southern and then then came about a month later came coach hugh jackson and the g-men the g-men then were able to get on the radar of mr robinson as you know gramlin is in louisiana as well southern is their rival and they were like hey you know they've stolen a couple of recruits from southern since coach hugh jackson has been there and they looking to potentially still another one or someone who had gotten offered by Southern first. So you got Jackson State, you got Southern, you got Grambling all offering Mr. Robinson out of Etna Carr High School in New Orleans. Now let's take a look at his 247 who they're also battling for his services. He is in, obviously, Louisiana being in SEC territory. And when you're a four-star, as you see right here from the 24-7, he is the 363rd overall player in the country 16 best player in new uh in louisiana according to 247 sports composite six foot 170 pounds at nakar high school in new orleans louisiana class of 2023 and you know when you're a big time four-star prospect out of louisiana you are in sec territory so you see the offers from arkansas auburn you got ACC schools, Duke and Florida State, and then all, all the way out there in the Pac-12, you got Colorado. So this will be uh, this this will be a battle once again for the SWAC schools, but it once again shows that the SWAC teams are looking to get the best of the best. You got a kid that is a four star in New Orleans, in Louisiana. Obviously, Grambling and Southern should be hot on his tail. Obviously, Grambling and Southern, Coach Hugh Jackson over there, Grambling. And the Southern Jaguars should be right on this young man. He's right in your backyard. Why not give him the offer? That was part of what was the problem with a lot of with a lot of HBCUs in the past. They just didn't offer the big time kids like Ryan Robinson Jr. And now these young men are getting those offers from the SWAC schools. And now you're giving them something else to consider. Now you are giving them an opportunity to experience the HBCU experience at your university. And it's not just Jackson State that is offering these young men. It's not just Jackson State who are landing some of these young men. We know Grambling flipped a guy from Texas this past recruiting cycle. We know Grambling and Southern are going after Mr. Ryan Robinson and also Jackson State. So it puts the pressure on the rest of the SWAC schools to land some of these guys and to continue to raise the level of competition in the SWAC. And once the SWAC continues to raise its level of competition, you will continue to see better players going to those schools and you will continue to see 
an influx of resources coming down to not just the universities, but also to the individuals, also to the players themselves. So shout out to Southern for being the first HBCU to offer this young man right in their backyard in New Orleans. And shout out to Grambling for following suit. And then Coach Prime, of course, at Jackson State to also be in pursuit of Ryan Robinson Jr. out of Edna Carr High School in New Orleans. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lights Jr. with the Black Boss Channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at jlightc7 on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Peace.